are today? So am I. Oh, I'm so glad to see so many over here because, well, this session is just for lunch. I was a little worried that not many people would show up. But I'm so happy to see that I was wrong. Thank you for being here. Hmm. Let's get started then. Uh, when you see the title of this session, it looks so long and hard to read at first sight. But actually, this title illustrates the cake clock features. Hmm, probably some of you already knew the cake clock functions or use cases. But you know, this session is a novice session, so I'm gonna start from the basics. Oh, okay, first, let's see the cake clock logo. This logo has important meanings. Kikak's logo represents the shape of a key because it is the same as physical key function, such as car key and house key. And you know, keys allow us to enter specific places. In other words, if you have a key, you could prove that you are allowed to enter specific place. Kikak works like a physical key does. Key clock gets permission to enter specific system after checking user validation. The process of checking user validation is based on standard protocols like WASP window and YDC. If you are familiar to with using Okta or one login, you could think that key clock uses the same methodology as them. But it's a little complex to explain key clock on its logo. So here is the architectures of this demo. Hmm. Yeah, it looks a little complicated at first sight, but it's not that difficult. Hoon will explain step by step later. So I, feel, I hope you love it. <laughs> and well, by the way, I drew this, I drew this case. I believe the drawing can be a helpful way to take, explain technical concepts. Anyway, before diving into the architecture, let me introduce ourselves briefly. My name is Susan Lee, and I'm a cloud engineer at Megajun, which provides cloud-related consulting and operation services in Korea and Asia Pacific. Uh, well, this is my second cubicle. I first came to cubicle last year in Detroit after attending several sessions in there. I got a dream to be a speaker at cubicle someday, but I've never expected the moment comes so early. <laughs> so this is really an hour time and minimal time for me. I hope this session is as meaningful to you as cubicle was to me last year. And Hoon is a CNCF ambassador as well as Cloud Solutions Architect. He is working at Megazone, same as me. Back to the topic. It seems that everyone is familiar to IAM because most of public and private cloud service this function. Mm, if you are, maybe, if you are not familiar to IAM, I will give you, I will give you a quick overview. IAM is very simple. I am is the checking the right user and they give you the right permissions. And the process of checking the right user is called authentication. And the giving the right permissions is called authorization. Mm, both are really hard to pronounce, but it's highly important between important separate between authentication and authorization so that understand the key class I am and key class technology in more. So we first know authentication and authorization a little more. Please look at the top that uh, authentication is the left one and authentication is which is often in short words. And the right one is authorization is which is us in short words. Mm, let me share a very tangible example. Well, 
You could see the square and double one eight one. I hope some of you would catch up on what I want to say now. Well, this is the room number here. So, I am already here because I was authenticated. Well, I registered for Kubecon. And as my kind of speaker, I could give a presentation here. If my kind is not a speaker, I could not give a presentation here. This is about behaviors, and this is called authorization. Let me share another case for understanding. If my kind is audience, I could enter this room. However, because my kind is not a speaker, I could not give a pre presentation here. Hmm. Even if I am Elon, I am the most famous Elon in the world, I could not give a presentation here. So let's summarize it. Authentication is like asking who are you, and authorization is like giving the right permissions and then asking, can you do that? Now, let's expand to the real Kubernetes world. In Kubernetes, authentication is certificate, and authorization is RBAC by rule and rule binding. This, con this concept for IAM is not only used in the vendor Kubernetes. This concept is usually in even managed Kubernetes service, such as GKS IAM and AKS IAM and EKS IAM. If you have a multi cloud environment, therefore, those silo situations could be solved by key clock. Furthermore, we could consolidate Tencent and Alibaba's. Alibaba's cloud Kubernetes service by using KeyClock. This is not the end of KeyClock features. KeyClock can enhance so many parts of security. Integrating with KeyClock enhances naturally so many parts of security. Let me share a very, very funny example. Maybe my jokes failed. <laughs> well, yeah, it looks like a very, very bad example for passwords. Nobody uses it like that on production level. If you have a production level, you should change the passwords regularly for security reasons. However, if you have a consolidated or centralized system, such as Kiklo, you could reduce the work of changing passwords to just one time. Keycloak's single sign-on features makes this possible. Okay, so far we have seen what Keycloak can do, so it's time for real-world demo. Hun will be demonstrating after explaining lab topology. Hun, could you start from here to the end? Yeah, thank you. Thank you for your presentations. Yeah, we're gonna be it as a demo. You like it? I, I think it is um, yeah, just for testing or explaining. It's just a little bit more time and before to the launch it actually. So we're gonna be the demo. Yeah, and before to the jump into demo, you know that this we are already explained this architecture over there. So there isn't any kinds of number or procedure or something like that. So we're gonna be explaining this how is this work? Yeah, before that. Uh, is this not is all, uh, mean, that mean that does not apply for the EKS and GK both? It is only apply for the EKS. Actually, that's the reason why this is a great area is a GK. So I'm gonna be what is the differentiation between the EKS and GKs later, later the yeah, presentation. I mean, the, the next page. First, you know that this, we are the commanded to the Kubernetes clusters. 
we're going to be mostly used at the cubic control. That's the reason why this, uh, there is a number one, is uh, the pink is uh, arrow is blinking. You're going to be following to that pink arrow is blinking. So uh, we are so cubic control is a command. After that, this, there are called uh, some reference command is the cubic login. The cubic login is not the official command. It's uh, some uh, convenience proposed to use that in this lab, so it's a customized command. So I will explain in the actual demo what is organized that. After uh, so Kubernetes login, open the web browser. Web browser. After that, this uh, authentication request to the key clock is there. Yeah, uh, authentication request to the key clock. After that, key clocks. Uh, there is uh, some web browser show up. That there is a Google API. Google's the button is exist. So we are click to the Google API but Google button. It is a request to the Google API, and then Google APIs is that they are searching to the user information after back to the key class. Yeah, so key class receive that this, those kinds of user information and make it a JWT. You know the JWT and JSON web token. Yeah, the client is, is already received that the JWT, so we're gonna be the use the JWT to request the permission to the Kubernetes cluster. Uh, Kubernetes, Kubernetes clusters perspective, there is a no any kinds of a validation or how can you trust that? So Kubernetes cluster request to the verification to the key clock. Is it, it, it can be believed, yeah, or not. So, so key clocks will be checking to the validation. After that, receive back to the Kubernetes cluster. And Kubernetes cluster, yeah, trust is uh, after the order of the procedure and reply back to the Client and then client to show up to the, the finally the Quebec controllers get pod or Quebec controller get deploy or something like this command output. It is kind of EKS uh, procedure and if you use that the AKS or um, on premise something like that is very similar to mechanism that. However, just a little bit different if you use that the GK side is not first. Command is not the Kubernetes controller. There are some, you know what, or I already said the Kubernetes login is that is my customized command. So when I just learn the Kubernetes login, uh, it can create a context first. The context is the mingle with the, some chat, and you have to create a context first. Uh, I think it is someone who cannot figure out this context to, uh, previous, so, so, so I'm calling it this um, square the last. So context created first, that's there is a little bit different between this EKS and GK side. So first, Kubernetes login, and then Kubernetes login open the web browser. After that, is the same mechanism. Uh, yeah, previously EKS did. Yeah, so it's a request request authentication to the Kubernetes, and then Kubernetes is Google API, Google API reply back, and then client and the chat. After that, created context. So after. So this created the context, and then we, the, we are using that the Kubernetes controller get power or something like the command to the Kubernetes cluster. It's the same as the previous EKS thing. Yeah, like that. I think uh, we are all of the, most of them is uh, some, some engineer and then, uh, or some developers. So demo is uh, great to understand, or some proving is very important. So I'm gonna be sure the demo to understand it further. Here is the context here. The, you can see that, that there is a, some EKS in here. And then for, for convenience purpose that this, I use that the PS in here is a context and then here is a namespace, but namespace is not important at this demo. And we already checked this current context. And I already say that I made it this customized command which is Kubernetes login. Kubernetes login is here. It's not a little bit awkward something is that, but anyhow, this it is convenient for this, this demo. Yeah, it called to the, some uh, figure out to the, the uh, some what is the context first. So is this, it can be the figure out by the graph, and then the, there are some save to the variable as a vendor. So after that, this, if it is true, I mean that this. GKA, GKs, it called to the Quebec control YDC login dash dash cluster and dash dash login config. So here is the something, yeah, it's not familiar to that this uh, most of person in here or someone who, who is a little bit familiar, but I'm not this before I just uh, preparing. It's uh, one of the CRD for the GK. So uh, you can see that the kind is a client config and then here is the authentication. 
authentication and client ID, client secret, and RAM addresses. So all of that this purpose is authentications. And also, probably everybody know about this, the client secret is really, really highly important because the, it can be the encryption the, after result, like a chat. So it, can, it should be the hide, but after the session, probably afternoon, I'll be destroy all of wrap. So yeah, exposure is okay, actually, yeah. So it is kind of some CRD for the authentication for GK side. And the other, if it is not GK, uh, it can call to the this comment. There is only two contacts, GK and EKS. So that's the reason why that's, I'm just customizing this comment. So it call to Cubic Control YD dash login get token. It means that just get, just generated token like it's chat. If you run this uh, command, I receive it at the chat thing, so it can be decoded by that this uh, basis base sixty four. So the this command, both of command, this call to GK is that this created context is land looks like that, but I will be sure of that. And first, it created the context. That's the reason why I'm uh, making uh, some, some my own purpose to that the created Kubernetes logins command. And here is the directory. Here is directory, some several things, but you know that this my time is really limited, so that's the reason why this uh, deploy impro is already done. And I show you to that the EKS first. There is a three file. This lab, so authentication is by the quick lab, but uh, authorization by the RBAC, Kubernetes RBAC. So that's the reason why this, I need to apply this one. This one, before I apply it, it may need to the check. Yeah. You can see that this, the cluster rule binding is applied by here is that this quick lab side. Kick uh, I can I have I already said that there is a little bit of, little bit limited time, and how does um, the kind of group is the the kick clock low? So if I apply it to some of the user, get it from the some some Google API, it automatically some yeah there is a default group, and then it gonna be the low role is the DevOps. So the RBAC created first to run this this demo. And how does the KA is this my preference to use that this um, command is the, the earliest thing is that Quebec control apply. So apply and then create this cluster role, role binding. And then there's just two command more because this, I have uh, some owner the, this uh, cluster so I can do anything to do in here. So the most purpose is not fixed. So I learn this one for demo. Is you know probably know that this AWEKS updates config and then there is some profile, but you know that this profile is really highly confidential, so I cannot show up there. But I use that the profile create a new context, new context. You can be verified to change the context in here. Yes, here is the context change. The Sujin CTX blah blah blah. Yeah, context change. After that, I try to keep a sure get path. But the, the response is unauthorized because I do not on uh, authentication yet. So I want to be used at authentication by the OIDC OpenID connected. That's the reason why I used the number three show is created this, some uh, user credential thing. So user credential featured this uh, OIDC user. Here is the point is that Cuba login, I use that. So I already said that Cuba login in here if it is uh, some uh, EKS uh, use that uh, this command, so get us some token and then some use that uh, some new YDC users and then authentication eventually get us some user. So I need to create uh, some new user credential and then yeah, comment is like that. Uh, I'm really hopefully this lab is working. You know that this yesterday some happened and you know live demo is sometimes it's really not working. So uh, as a pray this I'm working like this command. Oops. Uh, I think uh, you know uh, so we have a dual uh, screen or something like this. So is. It's automatically, yeah, show up, but I think something problem or you know that this, um, this projector is have an issue. And yeah, it's pop up by this command. And after that, I click it as some Google button, and then there is uh, some two user, but I use it as Susan. 
And in need to verify this, this for purpose, you need to verify your email address for activated the user account. Here is the she's uh, inbox. So I'm waiting for the some receive the email from the key clocks. Hopefully. Yes, yeah, got it, yeah. So see that this, um, there is the, some link to the email address verification. If I don't click it, there is a no command output. But if I click it, this this link, authentication, uh, yeah, authentication activated, and then command output is, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Something that looks like pending, yeah, and how does it's working. Like this kind of mechanism is the EKS, or if you use it, the AKS. AKS is a little bit different, but on promise is very similar. However, as I said, this GK is a little bit different. Okay, we need to change the some context. First, here is the GK context, and uh, we need to change the directory. I already say that when the code to the Kubernetes login, the code to the Kubernetes control YDC login cluster step and then dash dash login config. So, so yeah, call this command create a new context. It automatically like this. Yes, is well, originally automatically, but you know the project to have an issue. Authentication success and then create a new context like here. It's a little bit too long because it is uh, the cluster ID, cluster name plus the username, this combination to create it. So that's the reason why the context is a little bit longer than I thought. And I'm trying to be this some um, Kubernetes control get part, but there is no any applied at RBAC yet. That's the reason why the forbidden. So in, even though it gets some information, user information received and authentication, some final authentication, it's done, but it's not yet to the authorization by the RBAC. That's the reason why it can provide it. So I changed the context. Here, there is a pull permission. So I would like to apply to, yeah, see that there's a key clock and a key clock PZ in here. There is a two, uh, yeah, two RBAC exist. One thing is that there's my uh, my user ID and the other thing is a Sujin ID. First, I apply for the uh, Huns, who is me, yeah. Apply for that and then trying to be, I, is, you know, this, uh, use that this, the dash dash the context is really convenient to that too. Do not change that the context. And then trying to be get part, but it's the same message because it doesn't apply for the direct for the her. So I'm trying to change another, some she's the RBAC. After that, yeah, some proper response. So I said, mm, yeah, okay, and you have this back to the presentations. So I said this, this, this GK and EKS, they are same some mechanism by the OIDC open eye character, but a little bit different. EKS, there are some some using that uh, just for pictures of YDC directly, but GK first create a context. And how they are using the same mechanism. Uh, conclusion is that too long, blah blah blah. And yeah, this is a conclusion that and too long. First, First thing is that's very simple to apply this authentication and isolation for application if you use the key clock as your demo. And the other thing is that if you are using the, the semiconductor or engine or factory, something like it is very highly secure, some product or some environment things, you can, you can make uh, so your own identity, the providers. Those kinds of purposes, the key clock is really powerful, really so there is a various option is provided, so it can help. Third one is that some key clock can be very efficient to manage that as a user by the groups. So key clocks, this is really highly, if the uh, previous is the EKS demo, they, I used that as a group by the groups, uh, user managed it by the group. So it is one of the efficient way to manage that the user credentials thing. Finally, is naturally follow actually centralizes manage this or some privacy cloud they applied it it could be more secure in your environment. So I'm highly recommended to that this a key clock if it is really fit over your environment thing. The really, really last thing is that 
uh, there is uh, so many the reference risk thing is this, yeah so I'm summarizing to the last so many to the reference risk probably that if this clip will be exposure some um, one over two months later so if you are uh, curious about or if you want to be able to know about the further or self uh, self motivating studying something like that just scan the QR or yeah scan the QR you can see that the all of this link yeah directly yeah thank you for listening before lunch and really hungry time and really thank you for your listening that thank you